And uh, we're very, very pleased to be joined at this time by the president of the People's National Party, Mr. Mark Golden. Good morning, Mark. Welcome to the program. How are you doing? Hi, Richie B. I'm well, thank you. Good to be here. I also have with me Shells, who will ask you a question or two, all right? Good morning, Mr. Golding. Morning, Shells. Now, I see that you are up early this morning based on your tweet at 3.49 a.m., Mark, where you said, Good night, Jamaica. I've been reliably informed by some of the students that they have safely crossed into Poland. Um, you actually went on to say a few other things. Can you tell us a little bit more about the conversation that you had with the students uh, uh, maybe early this morning? Well, it was quite brief. I had sent uh, one of the students who I've been in touch with, the same person who um, I arranged the assistance through on Friday. Uh, I was in touch with him over the weekend, and he indicated to me, that, well, you know, they'd had a, a terrible ordeal yesterday mm -hmm. because the bus that was um, arranged for them to travel from Lviv to the Polish border was stopped and they had to disembark and walk. Uh, I was told 30 kilometers, which is, you know, a significant that's like, that's, like, that's like over 20 miles. Well, I think I look at more like about 17 miles. Yeah, they're about, uh -huh. yeah, and it was, of course, freezing cold and it's a nine or 10 hour walk. And when they got to the border, they had to join a, a line, and they were in the line for many hours. And of course, they hadn't had an opportunity to eat or, or uh, you know, bathe for days and so on. So, I mean, they've been, they've really been through a hellish experience. Mm -hmm. So, I sent him a message, you know, how, how it was going, because I knew it was, they'd been in the line, and he eventually confirmed that um, that group had got through and were, in, you know, and I know that. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs had made arrangements to have um, somebody there to meet them on the other side. So mm -hmm. I believe that they're in a much better situation now. Or, or said Minister uh, of Foreign Affairs actually had, uh, put a, a post out that suggested that uh, maybe one individual among the lot uh, was having some health challenges. Did you get any update on that? No, I did hear that, um, and that she was in an ambulance. But I haven't heard anything more about that. I'm aware that there is another student who, in fact, didn't go this route, but is, um, has gone to the Romanian border. And I believe she has got through now. I was in touch with her mother, and uh, she was a bit concerned about whether, you know, what would happen. But I also reached out to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and gave them that student's particulars, her phone number, and so on. And and the, the chat that I'd had um, with her mother about it. So they, I believe, reached out to her, and, and so I'm hoping she's okay. Yes, Ms. Yes, Mr. Golding. Um, first and foremost, as a young Jamaican, I want to just say thank you. Thank you for bringing forth some solutions, you know, for her, for our people overseas, you know, going through this crisis. I just want to publicly thank you. Um, the the ten thousand U.S. dollars that you and your team managed to raise, uh, to raise. Mm -hmm. Um, were the students able to receive those funds in a seamless manner? Well, that money is going to, or has gone to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade. Mm -hmm. I didn't really want to have a fragmented approach to this. <clears throat> I thought it best to route the money through the official channels, but at least they would have money that was readily available to assist the students. So they sent me their bank details, unfortunately, after 4 o'clock on Friday. So a transfer was not possible, and, but I sent it over the weekend, so it should be in their account this morning and available to them. Okay. okay. Many Jamaicans, Mark, are quite heartened at the fact that you, as leader of the PNP, um, uh, and your team put together this 10,000, some of which we understand might have come from your own personal funds. And I think uh, we, it can also be mentioned that the Prime Minister uh, also generated some funds um, somewhere in the region of $11,500. I've seen many positive reactions to those developments. Um, are you also aware as to whether or not Jamaicans have, uh, we have students in Russia? And, and, and what's the word coming out of Russia for students who might be there, or Jamaicans uh, really? I think they are quite concerned. I, I, well, one of the students' mothers um, her, her, reached out to me over the weekend, and you know asked to me assist in any way I could. So I um, brought uh, suggested to her that I could put her in touch with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I don't think the Russian students are in any 
physical danger at this mm-hmm. time, mm-hmm. Uh, the rather the students in Russia. But obviously, with the sanctions and the and the very crippling sanctions that have been imposed on Russia, they you know their situation is quite uncertain. Mm-hmm. So I think it's best if they 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 um, keep in touch with the ministry and hopefully the ministry can stay on top of the situation and advise them as best as possible. Yes, in terms of the funds, I spoke to the PM on one, at 1 o'clock yes. on Friday to tell him that, you know, I wanted to make this contribution to the party, was, had raised some money and so on for it. I had already personally helped um, that same student earlier in the morning because they were trying to leave Kharkiv, which was, you know, it's quite close to Russia, it's in eastern Ukraine, and they needed help to get on the train to get across to Lviv, which is in the west of Ukraine. And um, I had been in, through WhatsApp in touch with a student there. <clears throat> and um, fortunately, he had a bank account in Jamaica, which uh, was at the same bank as my, my bank. So mm-hmm. I was able to make a transfer, which hit his account right away. And he was able to then use those monies, I think, to, to purchase tickets for about 24 students. At least that's what he told me he intended to do. Mm-hmm. And they did get on the train and they did leave, which is very good because mm-hmm. Kharkiv now has street fighting and so on. So it's quite dangerous there. Mm-hmm. Um, but when I spoke to the PM at Wanaka, to um, the surprise of my, the effort and that I'd like to do it through the ministry, um, he said, well, that's a great idea. And, the, you know, he would want to match that through the Jamaica Labour Party and make it a common thing. And I, I said, well, great, you know. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know, what, you know, but I, I know our funds have been sent and yes. I assume that their their funds will be sent. Right. Um, it's it's a good look from, from our perspective. Yeah. Um, and so we commend uh, uh, both leaders uh, in that regard. Um, I know you had some reservations about the, the handling and the offer that might have been made by the government initially. But as it is now, with the efforts that are being made, are you uh, somewhat more satisfied? Well, I was a little perturbed at what the initial approach that was taken because the circumstances, I think, were sufficiently um, dangerous and uncertain that a very um, proactive approach that was easily um, acceptable by the students was w- would have been the way to go. But anyway, that's what under the bridge. They've had a hell of an ordeal, but I do believe over the weekend in particular, the ministry um, did actively attempt to assist, and that is why um, when they finally crossed the border into Poland, they, I believe there was a bus waiting for them that had been arranged by the ministry and arrangements to you know for them to have accommodation and so on, and hopefully... Get, make their way back to Jamaica as soon as they they can. So, yeah, I, you know, I think that the, the situation has been um, handled better as time has passed and as more public attention has come on it, and people um, have have been anxious to see the government really helping these students. And I think that the ministry has responded well to that now. Yes, yes, and yes, indeed. Um, again, again, Mr. Golden, I just want to say thank you because. Um, as, a, as a person who have been through tertiary level education um, and I even got offers overseas as well, I could only imagine what it's like for our students over there and not being, no, and being unsure you know, as to whether or not our government will be able to help them. So thank you and the PM for just coming together because we don't see unity like this often, especially my generation. You know, we're so accustomed to seeing the, the bickering and stuff. So to hear that you guys have had the conversations and put these solutions forward, I just want to say thank you. Yes. Well, I reached out to him and, you know, he responded appropriately. So I'm glad for that. And I do agree that in times of real adversity, Mm -hmm. it's important that a united approach be taken, you know. And in fact, we had talks yesterday, (coughs) so-called very royal talks on matters, not not about the issues we've been discussing here, but on other issues, you know. So again, I've been calling for that for about a year Mm -hmm. and we were able to finally get to meet um so that was another uh good uh, conversation <laughs> to try and reach consensus if we can on some important issues M- mark um you have preempted me in that comment and i'm still going to read my question as i had drafted it uh which says you are on record calling for the return of the veil vale royal talks between the government and the opposition those talks resumed yesterday we're told are you pleased with the outcomes so far? And how much can you say this morning in terms of the areas covered in your deliberations? I still decided to ask my question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can't say much because the rules that govern those talks are that they are really to be open and, and frank and um, 
they're really supposed to be kept within the domain of the talks. But what I would say is that we discuss issues to do with the Constitution. We uh, discuss issues to do with national security. We discuss issues to do with the pandemic and issues to do with the 60th um, anniversary celebration. Those are the issues that we touched on. Mm -hmm. And the spirit of the talks was positive, I would say. And, uh, you know, we were able to go in. They lasted about nearly four hours, I think. So we were able to, you know, speak in some amount of depth on, on our perspectives on these issues. And I think that it would have fostered greater understanding, you know, and, and, and I wouldn't want to go further than that, mm -hmm. but I would just say that, yes, I think they were positive. Okay. So this would be uh, yourself and the Prime Minister, and, and, and both of you had a, a team of uh, persons with you? That's right. Yeah, we, we both had... Um, I think it was five on each side, mm -hmm. plus um, persons who were there to just record the proceedings and work on a joint communique, mm -hmm. which we expect to come out today. Is there a press conference, a joint press conference that will be held? I don't think so. I haven't heard of that being suggested, but there will be a communique released. Okay. And, fi mm -hmm. and finally, what's the frequency going forward? Is there a planned uh, follow-up date? We did not set a plan date, but there are some matters arising that which will require further um, bipartisanship. Uh, so I anticipate that we will have uh, further discussions, not necessarily veil royal discussions, but maybe some technical discussions will, but, uh, which will involve both, both sides. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your frank and open discussions Thanks, with sir. us this morning, uh, Mark, and congratulations on the support that you have provided so far uh, to the students uh, who are in the Ukraine. And uh, all the best to you, and uh, we keep in touch. Yeah, man. Thanks. Thank you too. very much, Richard B. and Charles. All, all the right. best. Have a good Thank day. You. That was Leader of the Opposition, Mark Golding. And uh, again, we want to commend the leaders yeah, man. for coming forward and uh, in some instances putting their own funds Fund, yeah. as well as other funds that they seem to have... Uh, uh, garnered. That's unity. Uh, to, yeah, to, that's Jamaica, right? Definitely. Yeah. That's where we want to be. Mm -hmm.